diabetic, so the diabetic or the cardiovascular clinical trials. Um, yeah, and they would do a control and you're stressed and things like that, that I'd probably be looking at, I don't know about you, but I'd be probably looking at. Hi everybody and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopath Fiona Chin, co-founder of Kidney Coach and co-author of the Kidney Disease Solution. And I'm joined today by the amazing Emily Carhill. Why don't we start by talking about what taurine is? Um, and yeah, you start there and then we'll, we'll just, we'll go through and see what comes up. <laughs> okay. So taurine is, um, is an amino acid. It's classified as a semi-essential amino acid, which means that uh, we get it from food, but we can also um, make it from some of our other amino acids in the body. Um, and it's got a lot of benefits and a lot of use when it comes to cardiovascular disease um, and diabetes. And I guess that sort of flows on to why it can be beneficial for the kidney disease as well. But I guess some of its main actions are that it's an antioxidant. Um, and hopefully you've watched some of our other videos and you know why we love antioxidants and how beneficial they are for kidney disease, cardiovascular disease, um, pretty much most chronic health conditions. Um, it can help to lower cholesterol, can help to lower blood pressure, um, actually can reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Um, it's got actions of improving insulin sensitivity and in, um, increasing insulin secretion. So it can be beneficial for blood sugar levels. And one of the things that I really like touring for um, is its uh, role with stress. Um, so it is sort of <coughs> considered an inhibitory um, amino acid. And so what I mean by that is that it can help with uh, dampening, I guess, down stress levels and increase some of our neurotransmitters that are really important for relaxation. Um, so things like GABA and can also help with reducing adrenaline. So um, which you might know as epinephrine. Um, so adrenaline and noradrenaline or epinephrine and norepinephrine are um, secreted in times of stress. Um, they've got a number of different actions in the body, but they can do things like increase blood pressure because it causes our blood vessels to constrict, makes your heart go really fast, can give you the tremors a little bit. So um, taurine can help with reducing um, sort of those, you know, physical, I guess, signs of stress as well in the body. Yeah, and I think I said that in the blog that I wrote, I didn't actually go right into the stress mechanism, but that, you know, if you're diagnosed with a chronic disease, like chronic kidney disease, you're going to, you know, stress is part of part, part and parcel of what goes with it. And then obviously having high blood pressure and then that whole feedback loop that goes on. And that's where taurine is actually really amazing because it works via, um, now I think the technical word for it is it down regulates the uh, renal afferent sympathetic tone which means that when we get stressed and everything that emily said is we pump out more of um, epinephrine and norepinephrine or um, in australia we know them as adrenaline and uh, noradrenaline and they cause vasoconstriction in the endothelial tissue which makes your blood pressure go up and what taurine does is it actually reduces the sympathetic tone meaning it relaxes that uh, endothelial tissue which then causes vasodilation which uh, then helps to lower blood pressure so it's got a really an amazing mechanism that way um, and as we know the little blood vessels that go through the kidneys and things like that can be really quite prone to this uh, intracellular increased blood pressure and so taurine has a very special mechanism of down regulating blood pressure via the renal tubules and and the endothelial tissue inside the kidneys and that in itself is quite kidney protective because then what we're doing is we're getting a better um, quality of blood flow through the kidney tissue which means then you're getting more oxygen and all nutrients into the kidney tissue so you're going to enhance and accelerate healing and all of those kind of little things as well that I don't think I mentioned in my blog but that's all part of that whole mechanism of how touring works so it's really great that way and then I think probably the other thing I want to say is dosaging so you can take whopping big doses in fact the clinical trials that I was looking at some of them were dosing up to six milligram, uh, six grams a day over a four-week period, and they were in the diabetic, so the diabetic or the cardiovascular clinical trials. Um, yeah, and they were doing big doses with no side effects. Um, I think generally doses between five hundred milligrams and two grams um, show to be pretty um, um, efficacious, but um, the upper limit of toxicity is like much higher. So. 
um, yeah, you can you can get away with quite high doses. In fact, I would think in um, things if you're diabetic and your diabetes is a bit out of control and you're stressed and things like that, that I'd probably be looking at, I don't know about you, but I'd be probably looking at putting someone on three grams a day, quite a decent dose of taurine to really because of how amazing it is at managing stress and the cardiovascular system and blood sugar. Yeah. I'd be going divided doses and up to three grams a day to really try and get on top of that quite quickly. And maybe even if someone was had really out of control diabetes and things like that, where they weren't responding to even pharmaceutical sort of stuff, maybe even doing the six grams over a four week period and then dropping the dosage down. Um, they'd all seem to be very safe in clinical trials. Did you have anything you wanted to add about that or? Yeah, no, I think um, I, yeah, often use probably about three grams a day, um, depending obviously on the person, the reason I'm using it. But um, yeah, I don't, it's never been something that I've ever had anyone have a side effect to or react to or, um, yeah. Yeah, no, me either. I really think, I mean, my final words on touring are that if you're someone that's really prone to stress, cardiovascular disease and your blood pressure goes up, you know, when you're stressed and you die, you've got blood sugar issues, taurine's kind of like the perfect nutrient for you because it just hits all of those areas so beautifully. And hopefully you found this information useful. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you pop them in the links below, in the comment section below, and I will get to them. Um, and remember to hit subscribe because if you hit subscribe anytime Emily and I put out new content, you'll get notified about that. If you want any more information about the kidney disease solution, head over to www.kidneycoach.com and there you'll find everything that we're all about there. If you need to email us or if you're doing the kidney disease solution and you're now thinking about adding taurine into your protocol and you want to know if it's safe with medications, you can hit us up at support at kidneycoach.com and Emily or the amazing Rachel, who's also a fully qualified naturopath, someone will get back to you and answer those questions for you. Emily, thank you again for your time today. Thank you everyone for watching and being part of our community. We really uh, value and cherish you. If you like the video, give us a like and we will see you next time.